Good morning, my Doc Kids YouTube channel friends. Uh, man, things are really picking up. They're really getting hot and heavy in the world. Um, here's my latest breaking news. Major End Times news and prophecy update for the week of November 7th to the 14th, 2014. Matthew 24, 3 to 8. The King James Version Bible is all I ever use. As he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming in of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. This is Jesus telling his disciples what's going to happen right before he returns in the imminent rapture. And later in Matthew 24, he covers what will happen before the second coming at the end of the Great Tribulation. So, let's go ahead and break down the things that he said are coming. We've got 13 men still claiming to be Christ with huge followings. And there are many other little guys with small followings claiming to be Christ. We had almost 1,700 earthquakes this week. That's the most I've had in the last five weeks of these updates by far. Several dozen volcanoes erupting this week. Obama may see Assad's removal as necessary to defeat ISIS. That is a definite Isaiah 17 warning to me. U.S. says 16 airstrikes in Syria and 7 in Iraq. U.S.-led strikes have killed 850 people in Syria, 50 civilians. NATO says fresh columns of Russian armor and troops entering Ukraine. Ukraine redeploys troops fearing new rebel offensive. Russia's bombers to conduct regular patrols ranging from the Arctic to the Gulf of Mexico. Bomb explodes near Egyptian embassy in Libyan capital. Female suicide bomber hits college in Nigeria's Niger state. Armenia vows grave consequences after helicopter down. U.S. sailors hit by hood attack in Turkey. Japan's smartphone zombies wreak havoc on the streets. 13.6 million refugees displaced by wars in Syria and Iraq. Effect to arm, effort to arm Sunni tribes in Iraq against Islamic State faces hurdles. Blast rattle Sinai's Erish wounds 10. Khamenei's guide to destroying Israel threatens Iran nuke talks. Netanyahu warns U.S. Jews of Iranian nuclear threat. Netanyahu, Iran is America's enemy, not his partner. Iran's uranium stockpile grows before the deadline for the nuclear deal, which is a fake deal, by the way. It's baloney. U.S. drones in northwest Pakistan kill six militants. European banks accused of facilitating Iran-backed attacks on U.S. troops in Iraq. Obama confident U.S. troop surge in Iraq will put coalition on offensive. Militant group in Egypt vows loyalty to ISIS. Libyan city is first outside Syria, Iraq, to join ISIS. Suicide bomber dressed in school uniform kills 48 students in Nigeria. From Occupy Central to Tibet, China sees hostile foreign forces. Putin builds China links as ties with West Frey. Russia engaged in dangerous brinkmanship towards NATO. Worst East U Ukraine shelling for a month. Ceasefire looks in doubt. Ukraine's currency plunges as ceasefire fears grow. Islamic State leader uh, Abu Bakr in al-Baghdadi hit an airstrike. Syrian Air Force raids kill 21, wound at least 100 in north. Explosions rock Afghan capital after months of calm. In Ukraine, shelling and convoys of armed trucks threaten ceasefire. U.S. air strikes target Islamic State convoy in Iraq. Car bombs kill 20 near Iraqi capital in wave of violence. Egyptians in Sinai border town complain of heavy-handed army crackdown after militant attack. Obama authorizes 1,500 additional U.S. troops for deployment in Iraq. Suicide attack kills eight in northern Iraq, officials say. Suicide bomber kills at least seven at bank in Nigeria. Gorbachev warns war is on the brink of a new Cold War. Wars and rumors of wars, my friends, everywhere. <clears throat> Let's look at some plague and pestilence news. Fukushima radiation is in West Coast waters. Algae virus may affect mental abilities of people. Researchers say the new AIDS is infiltrating the U.S. at the southern border, a kissing disease. Epidemic of confusion. Like AIDS before, it, Ebola isn't, isn't explained clearly by officials. Showdown looms as California eyes pesticide issues. 
San, Sao Paulo, Brazil, desperate for water as drought hits millions in Brazil. Neurovirus sickens 140 students at Boston Elementary School. Now, let's go ahead and look at the other key scripture I use for my weekly news update. It shows we're in the last of last days. Zechariah 12, verse 2 and 3. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about. They shall begin, and when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. And in that day, I'll make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. Israel is a tiny, 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 tiny state. I think it might be the size of Maine or Rhode Island, one of those little states. And it is the most talked about, the hottest topic, the most hated, the most controversial place in the whole world. Israel is hated by most the entire world right now. Fulfilling this scripture. Let's look at just a little bit of the Israel news. And again, the news that I'm giving you is just a tiny bit of what I can dig up. I don't want to keep you here all day. I just want to show you the news so you can get a good idea. Let's go over Israel now, shall we? Abbas. The Palestinian Authority will ask the UN Security Council for Israeli withdrawal from the West Bank. Top EU diplomat calls to divide Jerusalem. Jerusalem should be capital of two states, says the EU. France to vote November 28th on Palestinian state recognition. U.S. again slams Israel for advancing housing plans in Jerusalem. Uh, my question is, why don't they slam themselves for building housing houses all around the U.S., which is their property as well? Israel announces it won't cooperate with the U.N. Gaza probe, calling it a kangaroo court. Carry to meet Abbas as Jerusalem tensions persist. IDF chief to commanders, be prepared for the situation to intensify. Worry grips Jerusalem residents awaiting next attack. Iranian general, Palestinians have longer-range missiles now. Hezbollah claims Israel is behind the mysterious murder of nuclear engineers. Majority of Israelis in a poll now support responding to terror with peace talks. It's lining up the end times, my friends, the Antichrist seven-year deal. UN chief is deeply concerned over Israel violence. More Israelis are killed by terror in just the past month and the whole two years combined of the last two years. Abbas, Israel dragging region into religious war. <clears throat> Security Council source. Gaza factions could resume rocket fire on Israel. Germany, Germany. EU aid could fund Hamas terror tunnels. ISIS and Hamas will take care of you, arrested Palestinian teen tells police in Israel. Iran leaders call to annihilate Israel, sparks fury as nuclear deadline looms. Proser accuses UN of ignoring Palestinian incitement to terror. Netanyahu, terrorism knows no borders, is aimed at Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Palestinian stabbings kill two Israelis as violence continues. A soldier, Israeli soldier succumbs to wounds hours after stabbing attack in Tel Aviv, a terror attack. Woman stabbed to death in West Bank, Islamic Jihad claims responsibility. Netanyahu orders defense chiefs to push forward plans to demolish Palestinian terrorist house. Over 100 Palestinian settlers clash in Huwara. Temple Mount violence threatens Jews worldwide, Israeli's envoy to Jordan's uh, warns. Israel faces tough months as pressure builds on Netanyahu. We need to pray for him always and for Israel and for all Jews. Biden says Jerusalem tempers risk Israeli air alignment. Various European states threaten to recognize a Palestinian statehood. Palestinians celebrate vehicular terror, declare a car infantata. I call it infantata instead of intifada because it's a bunch of little babies with rattles trying to get their own way. Palestinians call for day of rage against Israel again. Hundreds clash with IDF forces on day of rage. Palestinians riot in East Jerusalem as riotous march. My friends, the signs of Jesus Christ's imminent return are everywhere. If we can't see them, we're just spiritually blind. We need to be watching and waiting excitedly and knowing that God is about to send Jesus back. He said that God said no one knows the day and the hour. Not Jesus, not the... Angels, not even any man, no one but God. But God told us he would give us a sermon to watch and wait excitedly and know the season. We're in the last moments of the season. And you need to be ready for the rapture. If you're left behind, you think things are bad right now, this is going to seem like Disneyland with a speed pass go to the front of the line. I'm not going to, into all of it because it takes too long. I know your time is valuable. But look below the video title in the box below. You'll see my Tribulation Survival Guide video. It tells you exactly what to look for and exactly how to make it through that tribulation as a Christian to be saved uh, before you die or if you make it to the end to be saved. It's the only way to do it. I'm going to tell you how to do it. So now, 
If you've never been saved by Jesus Christ's precious blood, i got a prayer coming up. I can do every video. And if you're a backslider, you need to repent today. Because no one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second. And I've got 250 scripture, God's word, not yours or mine, God's. It proves you have to repent of those sins after you're saved, or you won't step foot into heaven. You believe what you want to believe? I believe God, and I don't play Russian roulette with my eternity. Like, sadly, most Christians are today. Do you? And I know I talk fast. If you can't keep up with my prayer, again, below in that box where the video is that I told you about, the Survival Guide video, I've got all the prayer and six vital next steps you need to be doing. You can pray as soon as the video is over if you can't keep up. But again, don't wait. We're not guaranteed even the next second of our life. So let's pray now before your time runs out. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day. went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father and make a place for all your children forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. And when you pray that prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. If you'd like me to pray for you for anything, from maternal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. Didn't earn or deserve it. When I prayed for it, he gave it to me. If you ask me to, I'll pray for you daily, expecting a miracle in your life. And I know that God will perform that miracle if it's in his holy will. And if he does, it's all because of him, nothing to do with me. And I've seen thousands and thousands, if not tens of thousands of miracles, my friends, in the, in the several years I've been online now, all for the glory of God and all through him. Let's witness and pray in what little time we have left, true Christians. Let's lead as many to the cross of Christ as we can so they can join us in heaven soon in the imminent rapture. I love you all. May God bless you. If you're totally, truly saved and living for Christ the right way, look up. Our dipping draweth nigh. We fly soon. Tune in Sunday. I've got a, a huge Sunday sermon. I'm sure it'll bless your hearts uh, through the Holy Spirit and only through Him. I should release it late Saturday night, Eastern Time, Lord willing. Take care. Bye.